Today I will show you how to make this crazy 3D flicker tile card. Yo, it's Bovikas here and let's begin. Alright guys, so here I have a clip from the new Lil Tekka music video and here we can just start making the text. So I will be using a font called Akira Expanded. Now this is a paid font so you can use different fonts so another one would be Arial and for Arial you could just use the Arial Black and that will look pretty much similar so I'm just gonna use Akira Expanded but yeah you can use whatever font you want this doesn't really matter the font is barely anything okay so all right so now what we can go is go to the T button this is the you know text tool and here we can type whatever we want I'm going to type Flickr now you can type whatever you know and we can go to align and just position this to the middle and take the span behind tool and press on this little button right here you know just grab this and place it to the middle of the flicker now what we can do is we can right click press new and go to solid and here just make sure these settings are like this you know and make sure this is dark or actually i don't know if that matters that much and press ok and here we can add an effect called element now this is a plugin so you really need to have this because this will make the text into 3d but if you don't have it don't worry i will still show you some cool effects in this video about the flickers and just how to make like those really crazy flicker effects so here we can just go to custom layers and here we can press on custom text and masks and here we go to path layer and choose the flicker text and now we can go to the scene setup where we can finally make the text god that took a long time okay here we can press extrude and we will start to see our you know text we can uh, move around you can see at the text wow that's so fun and now we can go to presets go to physical and here i just like to pick chrome you can pick whatever you want but i, I like chrome you know it's pretty cool and you can change something here if you want like you can make the bevel scale a bit higher you know just mess around what do what you want uh, we can go to extrusion model here we can go to chrome i kind of like to extrude this a bit more like maybe around two you know yeah look how that looks now extrude basically basically just makes that a bit thicker or longer god I, I really don't know the word i'm going to make the shoot i think just two that's a good number and uh, i'm gonna make the expand edges something like 0.4 maybe that just expands them a bit uh, i like to make the bevel size i don't know like 1.25 maybe yeah just Yo, that might actually be too much let's go back to the extrusion model and here let's scale down the bevel scale to like two yeah, because I was beginning to look a lot, like a lot. What, make it look whatever you want. And now let's go and press OK. And now we can turn off the flicker here, but keep the black solid up on here. And now what we can do is we can go to group one. And here we can go to particle look. Now at the start, I like to make the particle size like low to like one. And then we need to keyframe it and we can go to the ending here. And yeah, we can just, and here we can just scale it up a bit bit maybe like this i don't know honestly just make it whatever you want and here i also like to go to particle rotation and i like to make that x rotation to minus 25 so that looks kind of cool and i like to make the y rotation to 66 but let's go back to the start here where we started it and let's keyframe the y rotation because you know that's oh you don't want to have it look like this for the whole time you know and here we can go to the ending and i guess we can make it here to maybe like minus two yeah so it will like basically go around like this now that's really slow and we'll fix that don't worry i mean we can fix it right now we can press u and we will see all of the keyframes right, let's just make this keyframe go a bit further and here we can select all of the keyframes press f9 and go and select like this one just press on this and go to the graph editor and here i like to make the graph just look like this like you know this scaled up and just drag just this point like this all right let's go out of the graph and now let's go to this particle size and here you gotta make the graph also very sharp like go down make this go down like that and make this go in like this perfect and now this will look really cool you know just like you know we could have not made this minus two i don't know yeah honestly maybe we should make this to like minus 0 0.5 okay and another thing i like to do is i like to go to the form and go to the bend i like to enable it and i like to make the bend angle to 32 and the bend direction to 90 and now let's go down down. like let's go down to render settings and here let's go to physical environment now go to rotate environment and i like to make the x rotation here to this will be a bit different for you because of your text so i'm just going to make it for my text but if you have like the same amount of letters then this will be perfect for you so i'll make x rotation to 131 this one maybe one just increased a bit more and the z rotation to 40 i'm just rotating the environment now what does that even mean well you saw like before it was kind of darker but now we can 
finally see like the whites pop out a bit more so yeah the more you increase the x rotation the more it like goes around the x you know like this the more you increase the y the more it goes like you know up and down and the z you know just you know the third dimension the z. i don't know if i explained that well but uh, you should probably understand what i meant and now we can start to add some effects so the first effect i like to add here is cc threshold rgb and i like to make the red threshold to 15.3 the green threshold to 214.2 and now it's important to make the invert red channel just click it on and another effect like that is fast box blur i like to just add a bit more blur so i like to make this to two now you know the cc threshold rgb like gave these cool colors to make it look pretty dark and the fast box blur just made it a bit more damage and another effect like that here is s flicker now oh this is kind of sad you know if you don't have the software plugin then you won't have this effect so i like to make the s flicker amplitude to 0 0.7 and the last effect i like to add here which is also a plugin sadly it's deep glow 2 or deep glow 1 you can choose whatever you want i'm gonna use deep glow 2 because it's newer and here i like to make the exposure to 0 0.5 and yeah that will look crazy now for those of you who do not have the deep glow plugin you need to you know add normal glow and with the normal glow you would need to make the like the glow radius to like 150 do Duplicate the glow by pressing Ctrl D, and here you could make the glow radius to like 75 and make the glow intensity like 0.5 kind of worse i'm not gonna lie so you see that's why i really like deep glow but yeah you can do it like this if you want to mess around a bit more here and do not have like these blue colors we can actually go back to the cc threshold rgb and we can maybe keyframe the green threshold well right here like at this point i don't know or you can keyframe at the start and go to the ending a bit and here we can make this point to 127.5 and now you will just have one color uh you can have even different colors like you can invert green and you will have this that looks kind of ugly so i don't recommend to have that oh yeah one quick thing i want to show you guys is uh, look what my sister gifted for the 20th birthday of mine yeah this is a random cool thing yeah i don't know what tell me what you guys think about this this like is this like the new povicas merch but anyways how to make the flicker effect that you saw in the intro that's on top of like the whole composition it's pretty easy all you need to do is press ctrl y to make a new adjustment and we can cut it up to a couple of frames you can cut it by pressing ctrl shift and we can cut it to like i don't know a couple of frames like seven and here we can add s flicker and we can make the amplitude like 1.04 you can have this on anything but it will not just text this is like a really cool flicker effect but i like to have it here and let's add noise now noise is really cool here i feel love it here i like to make it to 41 percent and i like to turn off the use color noise and i also like to add deep glow 2 again and here i like to make the exposure to 0.5 and the most important effect to add here is as hotspots. Also, of course, a software plugin. And I like to just keep it at the threshold at this. And you will get this crazy madness. You know, just insane effect. You know, just absolutely insane. It will flicker like crazy. Uh, oh, yeah. Another thing you could have done is you could have turned on motion blur on the black solid layer to give more motion blur for the effect. You know, that's another thing you should probably add. Yeah, I'm sorry for forgetting these things. But yeah, if you guys want any more like 3D tile car tutorials or just tile tutorials or just flicker tutorials or anything like that then please let me know oh yeah sorry one more thing you can do is you can press ctrl y and add cc vignettes yeah below everything and i like to make them out like around 200 i mean but yeah guys that's pretty much it for the video have a fun and productive day see ya